and welcome to a new episode of Business Insider. I'm Mohamed Moisi and I'll be bringing you the latest today. We have uh, two segments of the show. First, we start off with some news items and then we move on to our guest and the main topic of the show itself. Let's start off with the most important news items of the week where uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi delivered a speech via video conference to a virtual G20 summit in India on Wednesday. In his speech to the world's uh, 20 biggest economies, President OCC stressed the necessity to promote and reform the world economic and financial system, including initiating vital financial mechanisms and maximizing the benefit from the upcoming mechanisms. President OCC further asserted the importance of reforming policies and practices by multilateral development banks in order to enhance ability to finance according to the priorities of developing nations. This is in addition to the significance of containing the problems of growing sovereign debt of developing nations, including middle-income countries. He expressed appreciation to the Indian Prime Minister for organizing the G20 summit, which was held amid international geopolitical escalations and tensions. In addition to the continued repercussions of successive international economic crises, as well as uh, to reiterate uh, achieving targets of sustainable development, climate change challenges and polarization in international systems. The head of state clarified that the way the international community reacts to the ongoing war in the occupied Palestinian territories was considered a reflection of a selectivity as a war machine still claimed more lives and causes destruction and displacement despite escalating international warnings of the necessity to protect civilians and respect international law. He affirmed that political and military crises being witnessed in the world nowadays intersects with deep economic imbalances which had its strong negative impacts on economic and social human rights, especially in developing nations. And yesterday, Prime Minister um, Mustafa Madbouli stressed that Egypt adopted an economic reform program to support economic development and sustainable economy. The Prime Minister's remarks came during a statement in the annual conference at, of the Committee of Developing and Emerging Markets and the Regional Committee of, for Africa and the Middle East affiliated to the International Organization of Financial Market Commissions, IOSC. In his speech, Madbouli hailed the decision of electing Egypt represented by the Financial Regulatory Authority as a chairman of the Developing and Emerging Markets Committee as well as head of international organizations uh, financial market commission for the year 2022 the prime minister also said the conference is a chance to exchange ideas to deal with financial technology threats madbouli also stressed that egypt adopted a national program for economic reforms to enhance economic stability and accelerate the pace of growth and development And our final news item of this segment is uh, Minister of Environment Yasmin Fouad participating in the regional meetings of the European Investment Bank for North Africa and the Near East. The minister also attended a panel of discussion on strengthening the bank's global partnership and raising the regional impact. European Union Ambassador Christian Berger also participated in the same event. Fouad said the cooperation between Egypt and Development Bank confronts many challenges and accelerating the development path is a story of success yielding important projects regarding the implementation of the Novi platform, projects and roles of the bank's regional center and implementing them. Dr. Fouad said providing suitable environment to support development partnership is necessary. And uh, this uh, brings us to the end of this segment. We're going to take a short break and uh, get back to you with our main guest of the show. Egypt opens up to the world. President Abdel Fattah has seen.